My name's Doug Rosendahl, and I'm the uh, chairman of the board of the Commemorative Air Force, and I was one of the crew members that was fortunate enough to take this airplane, That's All Brother, from uh, America back to Normandy for the 75th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. Over 800 of these airplanes, led by this very airplane right here, launched on the night of June 5th and into the morning of June 6th and flew behind enemy lines. And each one of these airplanes carried 16 to 20 paratroopers. They dropped them in the dark and uh, they went down to take out the bridges and hold the bridges so that the Germans couldn't reinforce the beach from behind. Uh, it was an incredibly courageous mission and uh, it just gives me chills to think about what those kids what must have been going through their mind as they walked across the threshold of this door. As a veteran myself, there's nothing more amazing than serving your country and serving the higher purpose that is our nation. And these guys did it and they still do it. Having the opportunity to fly a C-47 up the beach of Normandy on June 6th, uh, there's no words to describe it, but it was an emotional experience. As you look down on those beaches and imagine what it must have been like 75 years ago from that very day, uh, it, it, it's just breathtaking. And uh, yeah, I'm not ashamed to say it, it was emotional. So I had the opportunity to go over and actually fly on the aircraft the day after June 6th, June 7th with Doug. And we actually were part of a photo flight. And we were over the beaches of Normandy, the American Cemetery at Normandy. And it was so humbling to be able to take part in that experience. You know, our company values are safety, honor, commitment. And so to honor kind of our past with Philip 66, the technology, the innovations that came about during the 40s, the patenting of the process to make higher octane fuels to allow the bombers to fly higher during daylight bombing raids, that was all Philip 66 technology. So to be able to partner with you guys 75 years later and to think that the technology the Philip 66 invented back in the 40s powered that aircraft 75 years prior to be on board 75 years later is very humbling. So really appreciate the opportunity and like you said it's the golden thread I think that really ties our two organizations together. It wasn't a hard, I mean I thought it would have been a harder presentation to do to get this rolling but from day one 100% support. They believe in the, the you know, the, the, what it represents for the company and for history. And it was, you know, we, we were meant to do this together. We did it 75 years ago, we were meant to do it again. So we really want to thank them. And so I think it was appropriate that uh, 15 groups of Americans spent over a year getting their airplanes ready and probably close to $150,000, $200,000 per airplane to fly these airplanes back to Europe to commemorate that event and the sacrifice of those great Americans. Europe was an amazing educational, inspirational ideal. You know, the CAF and a lot of other airplanes knocked it out of the park. It was amazing. I saw French people crying on the street, thanking us. Uh, it, it was really, really, as Doug said, emotional and inspirational. So to do something like this takes an incredible amount of effort. And frankly, it takes an incredible amount of money. And uh, Philip 66 was a great partner and really helped us make this possible with both lubricants and funding to get these airplanes, to get this airplane across the North Atlantic and back so that we could honor these veterans and help educate and inspire young Americans about the sacrifices that we'd made. Uh, on behalf of the entire commemorative Air Force and all the crew members of That's All Brother, I just want to say an incredibly big thank you. We appreciate it.